a year after being on the board, uh, we needed some major restructuring. And I was asked to take over as chairman of the board. And I had retired, and so I said, sure, I can do that. And I, and I really feel good about the fact that I did that because uh, I think I did serve a purpose. And, and fortunately, I was, I was at the helm when we hired Steve Jewell and, and uh, did a good sales job to the committee on hiring somebody with so little experience and so young, but, but I said had the right attitude. And, uh, and we're very fortunate that, uh, that we did have Steve and he's done such a great job, really. Yeah, I was board chair for seven years. Uh, I pride myself in, in being board chair the first time we ever made budget. <laughs> and, and, but, and, and incidentally, uh, it was during a very critical time when we were running out of the grant money to start the foundation and had to get um, self-structuring. But, but then uh, uh, our endowment funds were 17 million and I th when I retired seven years later, it was 30 some million. And so it was a very good time and I and, uh, feel good about that. Well, the biggest um, purpose and use of the foundation for a broad, everybody, uh, is leaving money when they die. And, and Shirley and I have, have said for years that, that the majority of our estate is going to go to charity. And so the foundation is a vehicle that I'm convinced will always have a good board which will monitor investments and the giving of, of money. And it's a way that we can keep distributing our gifting to the charities that we feel good about uh, long after we're dead. Mm -hmm. And it's the only vehicle I know of that can do that over a broad base. There are, there are a lot of uh, other foundations and, and um, funds which are specifically one use oriented. But the Community Foundation is broad based um, uh, locally, nationally, wherever uh, we'll distribute the dollars to charity. And I uh, feel good about that. So, so we've used the foundation for, uh, at presently, uh, primarily for um, uh, scholarships. Nursing Scholarship Fund, uh, Dave Torrey Scholarship Fund for uh, graduating seniors from St. Cloud Tech, uh, annual contribution to youth hockey. And, um, and we have a, a letter agreement with the foundation which will administer our dollars uh, when, when we die. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and that'll be substantial. You know, the importance of the foundation is dependent upon a lot of support of people who are willing to individually give their time and effort. And people like you, Barb, that have, that have uh, started the Women's Fund, which is a new venture for us. Uh, I was happy that my wife, Shirley, has gotten involved uh, personally with, her, with the Shirley Torrey uh, Nursing Scholarship Fund and has visited St. Ben's and St. Cloud State and, and, and I, I know that that will uh, continue to there and also has served on the Good Samaritan Committee. Well, what, what have those experiences been like for you, Shirley? Um, well, I have tried Susan Lorenz. Um, when I do two St. Cloud State scholarships and one to St. Ben's and we try and get the girls together in the spring mm -hmm. and go to lunch and we were out at St. Ben's oh, two or three weeks ago. And the one this year, Carrie Barber, happened to be um, at our table. I mean, she was supposed to be there, but she happened to be at our table. So it's been fun to get to know these girls. And uh, I guess I, I graduated from Abbott Northwestern, <laughs> but uh, I feel very close to nursing. I still get together with about 14 to 16 of my classmates. What has your um, role with the Good Samaritan Committee been? Um, well, I guess just the things that people do. Uh, you get into a lot of things. I can remember one Christmas, there was a family or something, and Jim Hennon ended up getting furniture, and I was out, I called George one night after Bridge Club. I was at Walmart getting a little bed for this little girl <laughs> at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> So I guess my heart has always been in giving to others because mm -hmm. I've been so blessed. 
You have continued to serve uh, after your chairmanship, and uh, what capacities do you serve in at the foundation now, George? Well, the uh, Finance Committee and the Investment Committee mm -hmm. uh, have on, and, and periodically give some free advice to Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Even but, when he uh, doesn't ask. <laughs> uh, and also, um, I'm on the uh, Board of Trustees for the Foundation. Mm -hmm. what, what value do you think the Community Foundation has for the community at large? I mean, you've talked about how it served you as donors, yeah. both now and after you're gone. But what does it do for the community itself? Well, the, I think uh, last year, uh, was it five, six million dollars? Uh, that were distributed to um, charitable organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, that's significant uh, and, and will only uh, uh, get more because as, as my generation uh, dies out, I think the dollar uh, flow of, of first, first generation uh, income to charitable organizations is gonna be very, very significant. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and I'm excited about down the road the foundation is just going to become more and more significant to uh, the regional uh, charitable organizations in this area. Your generosity is clear to us because of what you've done through the foundation. But you have given a lot to a lot of organizations. And I know that um, from your colleges to uh, the health care system to colleges you didn't go to, um, <laughs> to the foundation. Why, why, where does your generosity come from? What, why have you decided to be so generous? You know, I've, I've asked myself that question. Yeah, because we didn't have parents. No, we started with zero were, and. You know, into this. If somebody had told me uh, 40 years ago that, I, that we would be giving at the annual level that we give annually, I would have said, you're crazy, you know. Yeah. But uh, uh, life has been good. Um, the Herberger uh, uh, yeah, organization yeah. has been very good. And uh, we're very fortunate to be able to share it with people. And, and you know, I, I read a business article once recently that said, what is it that makes people happy? And it said, uh, money doesn't guarantee happiness. But it said the one thing that they found which does make people happy is their giving. And people that give live longer. So I said, I'm going to live to be 100. <laughs> you probably will. <laughs> but, I hope we can count on that. But it, but it does, it, you know, if you're, if you're happy and feel good, uh, you, are feel, you, do, you do have better health. So. Mm -hmm. I said the one thing my dad told me was, he said, you can never outgive God. Mm. And that has been so true. You know, things have been returned to us multiple times. Yeah. You know, and I, for years, I did the Christmas families and, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I think my kids have, they've seen that. And hopefully, you know, later in their life when they have extra, <laughs> you know, they will be able to mm -hmm. do something like this. Yeah, we have both daughters that, uh, that have plans um, to support the Community Foundation, mm -hmm. and, uh, and we keep talking about that. You know, uh, the, the other thing that, that makes me feel so good is the appreciation in the community for what we've been able to do and continue to do, uh, both in support on boards, and, and I'm in a lot of them, <laughs> and, and uh, the, our financial contributions. Uh, I said one of these years I'm looking forward to not, St. Cloud not having a capital campaign, but, <laughs> but the, I look at the spreadsheet of capital campaigns that we're supporting and, and uh, it just increases. But that's good because that's a vibrant yeah. community. That has I that. once said to him, I said, you know, George, people are gonna stop returning your calls. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, but I've always said that uh, I have never had a problem asking people for money because I've never asked anybody to give to something that's not a worthwhile deal. And that we and, give to yourself. And that we haven't supported ourselves. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, and so it makes it easy that way. I, I, I don't think I could call people for something that I didn't support, but because I do, it's easy to ask them also mm -hmm. to join in supporting. 
And this gets around our daughter down in the cities. One, one of the girls she worked with, she talked to another friend and she said, are your parents George and Shirley Tory? <laughs> <laughs> and Ann said, yeah. And so she went on to say something about being philanthropist. I said, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it makes me feel good. Do you um, think the community, a community foundation, um, plays a role in um, raising the awareness of the importance of philanthropy in a community? Well, there's no doubt about that. I think uh, because of, first of all, the number of people that uh, it gets involved in, in the, the mission of the foundation, mm -hmm. that's one thing. There's a lot of people out there talking mm -hmm. about it. Um, I, of course, have said for years we should do more of, of uh, pub publicizing what we give when we do it. Mm -hmm. I think we, can get, we should be able to get more media attention to it. But uh, sure, it's an example uh, to the community, there's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. And people, you know, people aren't just out there looking just where can I give. Yeah. They, you know, <laughs> they, they've, they, Especially they, right now. <laughs> they need to be asked yeah. and, and need to be talked to about worthwhile mm -hmm. functions. So.